Hey, I'm Joel. I'm the product manager for Sourcegraph's new Code Insights products, and I'm excited to show you how we use Code Insights at Sourcegraph to help us answer high-level questions about our code. Code Insights is based on Sourcegraph's powerful code search, and it lets us track the results counts of searches over time. The best way to understand that kind of broad-ranging tool is to just go through a couple of common uses. We use it, for example, to track migrations, but also the infrastructure versions of things like Terraform or even languages we're using. We use it also to help us track incident resolution and security code smells or even the progress of our platform teams around consolidating testing libraries and component reusage. You can also track basic statistics like the number of end, end tests or integration tests or versions uh, in your code base, even documentation and anything that is in your code can be tracked. To show you how quick it is to set up, I'll actually show you how we tracked our CSS module migration using Code Insights. So this was in the Sourcegraph Sourcegraph mono repo and I wanna see how many module files, so file module of uh, the SCSS language um, that we had. So I will hit that search. I noticed immediately, okay, we have over 500 results. That's great. It seems like we're making some progress in the migration, but it doesn't tell me how fast we're making progress or when we might likely be done. However, if I go to the Create Insights screen, it's going to move that search to my data series. I will call this Module Files. I can see we're definitely making some strong positive progress. And then if I'm wondering, well, what about what we're migrating away from? All I have to do is add a second series, which is just a second search. Flip the module flag, call that Not Module Files change the color so it's clear, and now I have my insight showing me the progress of our migration just based on those Sourcegraph searches. I can save that. Because insights are based on searches, not only can you go from searches to insights really easily, but you can also go from insights to searches if you want more information about anything the insight indicates. So here, I noticed that our end, end tests drop pretty dramatically. I might click that point, be taken to a diff search between those two points in time. It'll show me the commits that occurred then, and I can see, oh, we had a PR that pulled out a lot of end, end, end tests called trim irrelevant end, end tests, so I know nothing is wrong, and that seems to be correct. The other feature we find ourselves using a lot at Sourcegraph is this automatic pattern tracking for things like versions. So you'll notice the search query for these types of insights is actually a single regular expression with a capture group. And if you view that on Sourcegraph, just running over all of our repositories, you have a lot of different versions. But in the insight itself, which is also running over all of our repositories, it will take all of those patterns and split them out into individual series. Now, if any of these uses seem cool or interesting to you, but you're thinking, well, I'm not an expert in Sourcegraph searches, what should I do? No worries, because if you go to the Insights tab in the product and go to the Getting Started page, at the bottom, we have a whole bunch of templates for you to start playing around with and modifying for your use case based on the types of things you might be wanting to track. So from any of these templates, you can grab, use this template, set it to run over all your repositories or an individual repository, and refine it for your needs. Thanks so much.